and welcome to another level three video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, opacifying agents. Opacifying agents are put into a sheet to improve the printability of the sheet. As the name implies, generally by improving the opacity of the sheet, but they do do other things. So what are the properties of opacifying agents? A high refractive index, the higher the refractive index, the greater opacity it will create. We need them to be insoluble, no point throwing uh, a bag full of particles into the wet end of a paper machine that all dissolves. They need to be ideally unreactive, calcium carbonate is a bit of an exception there, but provided you stick into the uh, alkaline side of the system, of the system then it, it's not really a problem. Um, they, they need to be small particle size. If we look at the nomenclature, because uh, you've got filler and you've got pigment, and they're the same, but they're different. So, if we take these materials and add them to the base sheet to replace fibre, then we call them a filler. So, fillers might be, I don't know, £100 a tonne. Fibre might be five, six, seven hundred pounds a tonne. So, if you're replacing expensive fibre with cheap insoluble inorganic material then we t tend to call it a filler but if we take exactly those same materials and we put them into pigmented coating mixes for uh, making nice glossy magazines then we don't call them a filler anymore we call them a pigment so you've got these two terms that are the same and different put it in a sheet base sheet it's a filler spread it on the top mixed up with latex or starch, we call it a pigment. The only real difference is about its particle size. So the typical materials that we're talking about here is titanium dioxide. This is the best of all pigments insofar as it has the greatest opacifying power and it's probably one of the whitest pigments. The problem is it's so very much more expensive than all the other materials. Another common material is chalk. And there are two types of chalk. We've got natural chalk that we dig up out of the ground, and we've got synthetic chalks where we take, uh, say, flue gases from paper mills, put them through, bubble them through lime water, and produce our own precipitated calcium carbonates. There's also clay, which is uh, a type of aluminium silicate, very unreactive. There are other effects to these materials. Although we put them in to make the sheet more opaque, they will have other effects. For example, most pigments are brighter than most fibres. So by putting this material into the sheet, we will actually increase the brightness of the sheet. We're going to fill in all the valleys between all the fibres and therefore we're going to improve the smoothness of the sheet. And by filling all those holes, we will simultaneously reduce the porosity of the sheet, which is also generally considered a good thing unless you're making uh, filter paper. Um, the negative side is it will weaken the sheet because these pigments will get in between the fibres and therefore it will interfere with fibre-fibre bonding and therefore you will get a, a, a reduction in uh, sheet strength. Typically, you get up to about 25% filler into a sheet. There are some new technologies now where those fillers are wrapped with a flocculant and that allows the uh, uh, level of filler to be increased to about 35%. And then finally, it will also make the sheet cheaper. So this isn't changing a property of the sheet, but it is making the sheet cheaper. And therefore, in a way, although we always consider pigments and fillers as functional aids because you are replacing expensive fibre with a cheap filler you could consider this as a process aid. So a summary of all pacifying agents is used, they're used to improve the printability of the sheet they will affect other sheet properties than uh, opacity but they will reduce strength and they can be considered as a process aid because they do make the, uh, the sheet cheaper. 
Okay, well, thank you for uh, listening to this short video and please feel free to follow us on this social media.